Yo, yo, everyone, welcome back. It is Vordy, and we are in the middle of a fight. That's the way Vordy likes to do it. We start the fight, and we bring everybody into the chaos. So, welcome back to another Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. Uh, the last time we kind of ended was I uh, discovered my boat. We came to like a random town. I just jumped off the boat, got into the town, and they've been telling us something about some ancients, and that's kind of where we were heading. Then we came across a bunch of fairies. And those fairies told us about some tree. And I've kind of been running around that tree right now and just did maybe a handful of fights to just kind of get a little bit of experience because 160 experience is quite a bit. So there's this tree, it does nothing. So I'm kind of heading um, west to find this town. They, they were saying something like uh, ancients, ancients, or whatever. So I kind of stood there. Actually, oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. There's one more thing I wanted to do. There's one more thing. Before we go on a big adventure, I did almost forget. All right, we'll see if uh, if we can get there in time. Steel potion? Oh, so yeah, man. I've been stealing a lot. I've been fighting a lot. It's been a lot of fun. Arrow. So one guy's down. The rest of them are down? Yeah. I'm just gonna run back up to that town. I went back in there looking for a way to heal my characters and I ended up finding um, some sparklies on the ground and I didn't want to pick them up yet. I don't know what it is, but I didn't pick them up yet. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Perfect. I found some sparklies on the ground. I was looking for a healing fountain, which I was not able to find. So I was running around in Z and look at that. So I don't know what it is yet. Find an ice staff. Okay, well. Well, I don't know how rewarding that is, but we have an ice staff now, which we can learn blizzard, I guess, is it? Fire staff, ice staff, cast blizzard, fire staff, cast fire. So whatever, we ended up getting that. I totally forgot about that. But yeah, there is no fountain in there. From what I was able to see. Tree. Oh yeah, this is looking good. No fight so far. Look at that. We've made it there and back with no fight. Alright. So I haven't been here yet. What's this? Uh Okay. Is this a boss? Is this a boss, bro? Advance. Magic. Let's hear uh cure everyone if this is uh no what are you doing refia you're a team player we'll steal from the lizard man and then we will blizzard everyone so we gotta look for the ancients that that's where we are heading right now steal potion yes potion we're doing so good yeah heal everyone up 100 oh not even close which is alright. No big deal. So one guy's down. Advance. 433. But I think advance lowers my defense or something like that. Intense hitting move. 160. Luna's job is leveled up. <laughs> yeah! Alright. Oh, what? <laughs> Chocobos? So what happens if you talk to one? Gotcha. Oh, I caught the chocobo. Oh, what? Oh, wait, wait. Is that the town? That might be the town we're in. What? How long does this last? Let's go run around a little bit. Wait, does this go all the way around? Oh, no way. It goes all the way around. We're going to go all the way around. We're going to go all the way around, see what other towns or things they are so that I know where I'm heading. Alright, wow, they're running really fast. Is there any more towns up here? Nope, nothing here. <laughs> this is crazy. Where is this chocobo going? Look how fast it's running. But there's it doesn't look like there's anything here. This might just be like one of those things where you can just kind of... <laughs> 
There's a town over there, but there's nothing. Yeah, it doesn't look like if I get off If I get off I might be screwed Here then I have to run all the way back and maybe the monsters over here are super strong. Whoop nothing here No, oh, there's a cave over there. I guess we need an airship for that one Can't jump in the water. That's too bad all right. Oh, so we made a full circle. Can we go anywhere else with the bird? It's my chance to explore the map a little bit. All right. So there's nothing here. My boat's over there. The tree is right here. What's up here? Oh, yeah, they were here. Oh, why is he can run over the water too? This is sick. So I guess we can go all the way up here, which is. Already know we there's a dead end down here is a dead end too. All right, so I guess there's nothing much you can do with it other than run really really fast from it. I guess once we're done with the town here, we can actually just run back real quick. So there you go, boys and girls. You got chocobos early on in the game, so we're gonna go in here. Um, before I do that, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm very scared. I haven't died yet, and we're really close to a chocobo. We can always get to our boat, so we're gonna save here. We're gonna go in here. Village of the Ancients. Okay, so this is where we're supposed to be. The music here is very... Like it's time. Makes me think of time. Again, I have to run in Z because I don't know what all these items could be. I was by accident running around last time and I found... Stuff. It's not a fun way to play the game though. We'll figure shit out later. Hey, look, there's a Moogle. Hey, buddy. Welcome. Any news? No, just a Popa, man. I'm a... I don't have any friends. I guess we need to make more friends. Is there anything up here? Oh, there's a girl here. Hey, uh, have you ever seen a chocobo? Such a strange bird, is it? They make their home in the woods to the east if you wish to see them. Yeah, buddy. I've already... Ooh, shop. Anything in the shop that we can steal? Nothing. Shell, what? Flame armor? Hello, headband. Mage armor. Wow, that it's very expensive. Shell armor, 18 defense, 21 defense. Wow, that's very pricey. Very pricey, man. My buy one of those and one of these just in case who knows <clears throat> who knows what we're gonna come across later on so pretty actually we know the stuff sometimes appears here nope nothing there wow Ooh. pot nothing on the pot what are you gonna say old man our rule commands us to let ourselves be guided by the great will Wow, thanks for being so information attentive <clears throat> what do you got here site displays detailed map fire we have that Thundera Blazer we have that teleport teleports party at the dungeons uh, yeah blind now removes blind site displays a detailed map it's very cheap I'm gonna pick that up I got the rest of the spells, at least one of each. Anything in here? Nope. What do you gotta say, old man? Our ancestors once built a great civilization, but we were punished for their great arrogance. That is the catastrophe we now call the Wrath of Light. They attempted to harness the power of light. They arrogantly assumed there was nothing they could not do, but they had thought wrong. It is said that four warriors emerged from the world of darkness and stopped the destructive forces of light that our ancestors had conjured. But now it is darkness that has emerged, bringing chaos and destruction in its wake. All that we can do is wait for the four warriors to appear once again. That's us! Yay! Is there anything in this house? There's nothing in that house. That would have been a great place to... Oh, what? There was an item down there. This time I'm observing the whole map. Another serpent sword? Boy! Baby girl! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, I'm getting a little dizzy being so close to the game here. Nothing here. 
Let's see. What do you guys say, old man? Old man, tell me things. Old man, would you believe me if I told you that the ground we're standing on this continent was a loft rubbish? Was a loft rubbish, you say? Well, it's nonetheless true. Yeah, I know that. We can see from the tower, or not the tower, the, the map that we're floating. The Tower of Ovid is a pillar. The pillar that supports our ah, continent built by the ancients to bring balance between light and darkness. Okay. Into the first... Oh, hello. That's what I was looking for. Nothing happened. So this is a reviving one. Okay, so this one here helps revive you if you're dead. So I'm going to make a note in my head that that is that. Oh, there's a weapon shop over there, baby girl. I'm out of here. Oh, there's an inn here too? Nothing. We are the sons and daughters of the ancient ones. Uh, of the ancients. A once great civilization. But now we live by the land as a rule commands. Long ago our rule was... Our rule also charged us regarding the Tower of Owen. Alright. This guy sells potions and stuff. Yeah, high potions made of mallet. Shrinks and shrinks... <laughs> shrinks and unshrinks. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, we got uh, 10, 13 echo herbs. We will pick up some of you as well. We'll bring a 10. We got 11. 41. High potion. Too expensive. We're not bringing that. Maiden's kiss. We don't need the mallet. It removes poison. We have 10 of those as well. So that's just a rest. We don't need to rest. We're good. Items? No. Alright, so we've been here. So now we're gonna go. Hello, boy. What you doing? Inque Inquitable! You actually did it. Well, good work. I mean, work. Here's your prize. Oh, <laughs> I did that by accident. I don't know. I didn't know that. What the hell? We ran around with the chocobo all the way around it, and we ended up getting. Gnomish bread for being so awesome. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Light and darkness have their own will. A will that transcends that of mere mortals, such as you and I. And they are perpetually at war. The crystal exists to bring balance between these two forces. When the balance tilts too far one way, the crystal choose, uh, chose... Choose? The crystals choose four mortals and bless them with their power now that the balance has tilted toward darkness four warriors of light will be chosen and tasked with bringing equilibrium to the world once more wow that's kind of cool i didn't know that actually i didn't know that they were chosen because there was so much darkness that's actually really cool that's a nice little tidbit of story that you would have missed if you didn't talk to the npcs any free loot no free loot please have some good items in here uh i have that what Ice arrow. Light cast thunder. 35 hundo? Increases attack speed. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't want to sell it because it's expensive, but... I don't think I need this anymore either. Whatever. Bow. We don't need bow. I mean, a scale inflicts confusion. I don't know. These things are pricey as hell, and I don't want to just throw them away. It might be useful later. Bye, Ara. Mallet. We have a mallet. Gee, Sonic Knuckles. Flame mail. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at here real quick. Killer bow. I don't really think I need the killer bow. Ice arrows and I don't think I need any of this stuff. It says that she can wear staffs. But I have a fire and ice staff and Refia can't wear it. It's a liar. Liar! Unless she can, all of a sudden now can wear them. Alright, well, there you go. <laughs> she can't wear it. She now knows Blizzard. Um, since we're here equipping stuff, let's... Uh, We will put flame armor on, and then oh wow, I shouldn't have bought anything else. Uh, mithril shell armor for you. Do we have any other weapons? Nope. Uh, 
defense protects against some status ailments too. Nice. Can we put anything on you? Fire staff, ice staff. Nope. Nope. Mage robe. Hello. When did I pick that up? I don't remember. Uh, I'm going to put the mage robe on the healer if she can pick it up. No, she can. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So in that case, I'm actually going to put, uh, put the mage robe on that guy. So I haven't seen any other items here. We were able to pick up that one right off the bat on the right side there. So we are... I think we're finished here. It smells like we're done here. Alright, that was pretty cool. Um, we're going to have one fight in the forest. And then we're going to get on a chocobo. And we're out of here. We're out of here, boys and girls. Because... I don't think there's anything else we're gonna need to do. Alright, attack. Flyer. You can attack now too. Oh, that ice staff looks so badass! Steal off that guy, and you too, sir, can attack. Alright. All right, potion. That's what I'm talking about, baby girl. All right, let's keep going. Just smashing that en enter button. <laughs> well, at least she's hitting now a little bit harder, which is good. Nice, we're getting some good levels here. This is great. All right, gotcha. So we know if you were get the chocobo, run around once and you'll get a gnomish bread. So here we are. Uh, to get off the bird, I press the backspace or escape, I think it's called. Uh, but backspace on my keyboard to get off the bird. So what we're going to do now is actually we're going to save... Because I am very skeptical. I always have a feeling the second I get on the boat, I'm just going to get dominated or something's going to happen. Alright, so let's go find our next area and then we're going to call it a day. Uh, map? So we've been on the right, so let's continue following the left side here. So we've been there. So up here is the new area... Oh, hello, that's the castle. So, okay, so we got a castle there. So, going northwest, we found a castle. Oh, what? Is it a seahorse? Oh, it looks like a sea. It's a to me, it's a seahorse. Uh, we will guard, guard, steal, guard. Come on, steal something good from him. That seahorse, man. <laughs> that looks hilarious. There. Oh, I would have been blind. Okay, we didn't get blinded. You, madam, are gonna cure everyone. No, nope. cure your team. Attack, attack. So at this point, I'm uncertain if you can steal more than one item. Like if they have any items. I'm assuming bosses probably have items more than one. So. So I'm not really sure yet what I'm gonna do about that. I just keep stealing till it says you can't steal anymore. I don't know, we'll see. Alright, so let's see map again. So there is a, a ledge and then it kind of goes around. So we're just going to scout this area out a little bit better before we just call it uh, a target. Because I think the best target, or not the best target, but the next place we got to go is going to be this castle. Because there's nothing else to do from looking at it. And from talking to all those uh, peeps, they haven't said anything about any other areas. Nice. One. Oh, and he's paralyzed. Oh. It's funny how his paralyzed looks like the Pokemon paralyzed. But I think this was out before Pokemon. I don't remember when it came out. He's wearing a hula hoop. Lunith is wearing a hula hoop. A sideways hula hoop. That's gangster. 
All right, so we're gonna keep going with our boat. Gonna press map one more time. Oh, I guess. There's, oh, there's, what is this? So there's another place. Maybe I lied. Maybe I was wrong. There's more than one place that we can actually go to right now. Killer fish. Money, 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 money. Okay. So there's a, another tower there. I guess I can't go through here. Nope. Figured. Over here there is... Well, that's our beginning castle that we were at at the one point. Okay, so really, we got this castle here and then um, that tower-looking thing over there. Oh, you look attractive, buddy. What are you called? Hermit. <laughs> Hermit the crab. All right. Steal. Nothing. He's not holding anything. He can barely fit himself in that crab shell. Come on, Lunith. You failed me, Lunith. Boom, 286. Lunith is hitting like a beast, just like he was always, which is good. I'm happy about that. 60 experience. All right, let's get into the cove here. So here we are, boys and girls. Perfect. So just run into the wall. All right. So we're going to be going to this castle, and then we're going to follow up into the other giant tower that is north of us right now in the following episode. Uh, if you did like the the walkthrough or playthrough, or I don't even want to call this anymore, the Let's Play of Final Fantasy 3, please like the video. If uh, it's your first time viewing my content, why don't you consider hitting that subscribe button and maybe watching my other episodes on Final Fantasy 3. I will be doing all the Final Fantasies eventually, and they'll have all playthroughs, and we're going to be discovering the game um, kind of as we go. I... I'm pretty much playing off of what you guys tell me. If you guys tell me there's something I missed or something I can do, I will fix it like that. I prefer not to kind of jump over and look through, um, what do you call it, like other walkthroughs where people have done looking for like, you know, easy ways to find items. I kind of want to discover it on my own. Kind of like fumbling around, just like you've been playing it back in the day. If, if you're an older person like myself, where you've been around for generations, then um, in that case, well, I'm not that old, but I'm just saying. You know, back in my day, we didn't have... <laughs> like you know what you call it like a, a, an online resource where you can go look up uh tips and tricks and stuff like that so and i find it more fun when you discover things on your own but anyways that's just me babbling like an old man anyways if you like the videos please like and subscribe if you're new hit that subscribe button and stick around for future content this is vorty and i am out of here see you next time peace I'm sorry,